Hi, welcome to Wine School. We're wrapping up France this time. This time we're going to talk about first the Loire Valley and then the Rhone Valley and then finish up with a look at Champagne. The Loire Valley is centered around a river, the Loire River. Uh, it's fairly large and it extends across much of the northern part of France. The Loire River starts in some mountains in the center of France, heads north and then turns west and continues around the city of Orléans, uh, passes through a couple of more cities and then empties out at the Atlantic Ocean. The Loire Valley is home to over 70 Appalachians, uh, and it is home to many grapes. But the most important ones are the white grapes, Sauvignon Blanc, which tends to give us a lot of citrus character, uh, along with a little bit of sort of green grassy notes uh, that sometimes wander into maybe like some green bell pepper notes. Also then we have Chenin Blanc. Uh, Chenin Blanc is a grape with lots of sort of apple-y kind of character, matched against a sort of funk note that is reminiscent of maybe like a wet wool or um, even can go into notes like cheese. For red grapes, the Loire Valley tends to emphasize Cabernet Franc, and Cabernet Franc gives us some of the same green, grassy, field herb aromas that uh, Sauvignon Blanc can give us. In fact, it's the same exact chemical compound called pyrazine. In addition to that, we also have Gamay and Pinot Noir, uh, both of which give us sort of more country versions of what we find in Burgundy. The first place we come to along the Loire River is the Appellation of Sancerre. Uh, this is maybe the most famous appellation in the Loire Valley, known for white wines made from Sauvignon Blanc mostly, uh, but also it's known for some, a little bit of red wine made from Pinot Noir. So we can make a general uh, statement, if Sancerre is red, it's Pinot Noir, if Sancerre is white, it's Sauvignon Blanc. Next to Sancerre is another fairly famous appellation, uh, which is Puy Fumé. Uh, and Puy Fumé is known for Sauvignon Blanc wines that are maybe a little bit smoky, a little bit flinty kind of character. As we head down the Loire River, the next important place we come to is a cluster of appellations around the city of Tours. The most important area around the city of Tours is Vouvray. Vouvray is famous for white wines made from Chenin Blanc. The style can vary here. Sometimes you have uh, sparkling versions, sometimes you have crisp, dry versions, uh, and then they can have a little bit of sweetness, sometimes being all the way to rich, sweet styles, uh, which they label as Moyeux. Just on the other side of the city of Tours, we find two great red wine appellations, Chinon and Bourgogne, uh, both of which are known for Cabernet Franc reds. Continuing down the river, we find a couple of other appellations. We find Saumur, which uh, is a good place for country-style red wines made mostly from Cabernet Franc, uh, some sparkling wines also. Uh, also Saumur Champigny, which is a little bit uh, richer, kind of more powerful style Cabernet Franc. As we keep going down the Loire River, eventually we come to the city of Nantes, and this is where the river empties into the Atlantic Ocean. This is where we find a lot of great seafood and a lot of great seafood-friendly whites, um, most of which fall under the Muscadet classification. Uh, there are a few different appellations for Muscadet. The most famous of them is Muscadet Sevremen. Let's not make the mistake, however, of thinking that Muscadet is the name of the grape. It's not. Uh, the grape is Melon de Bourgogne, and it probably bears some relationship to Chardonnay way, way back. Since the Loire Valley is fairly far north and relatively cool, all of these appellations tend to have a certain crisp acidity, a certain liveliness that comes from these cool climate areas. The next important wine region is the Rhone Valley. The Rhone River starts in Switzerland, uh, then it comes into France, heads south, flows through southeast France, and then empties into the Mediterranean. The Rhone Valley is more famous for red wines than white wines, but it does very good versions of both. The northern Rhone is a little cooler and tends to emphasize the Syrah grape, which in this case gives us black pepper and notes like meat and cassis, uh, as well as a little bit of maybe olives or uh, purple flowers. Syrah is the only allowed red grape, uh, even though some white grapes can be blended into it. The most important appellations are Hermitage, which is the greatest of wines from the Northern Rhone, uh, Croze Hermitage, which is the appellation that surrounds it, uh, Saint Joseph, Cornas, and Cote Roti. Cornas is the only one that is by law 100% Syrah, uh, even though most of the other appellations tend to make wines with very little white blended in. Uh, for the white wines, we tend to find 100% uh, Viognier wines in a town called Condrieu, uh, but then in other appellations like in Hermitage, Croze Hermitage, and uh, Saint Joseph, we find blends of Marsan and Roussan. The Southern Rhone is a little warmer and tends to emphasize the Grenache grape, uh, but Syrah is grown here too, and so is Mourvedre, uh, Sanso, a number of other red grape varieties, uh, and a lot of white grape varieties too. Uh, the major wines in the Southern Rhone include Chateauneuf de Pop, which is the greatest of wines from the Southern Rhone, uh, and then Gigandas, Vaqueras, uh, 
uh, and then various Côte du Rhône village appellations, some of which can have their name put on the label. Typically, the Southern Rhone Reds are a little more fruit-driven than their savory, spicy Northern Rhone counterparts, uh, with often the Grenache lending a sort of fresh raspberry tone to the wine. So, my friend, is all bubbly wine champagne? If I were to shake this water bottle up, make lots of bubbles, is that no champagne? Well, you're half right. Champagne is bubbly wine, but not all bubbly wine is champagne. For it to be Champagne, it has to come from the region of Champagne in France. A pretty far north region uh, that's fairly cool. Most Champagne is made with some combination of three grapes. First, Chardonnay, and then the red grapes, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. If a wine is made with all Chardonnay, it's called a Blanc de Blanc, which means white from white grapes. If a wine is using red grapes, there's no skin contact, so the wine will stay white. The technique for making Champagne is fairly complex, but simply put, the bubbles come from a second fermentation process that happens in the bottle. At the end, the wine is gently sweetened, uh, and if it's sweetened only a little bit, it's called brut. If it's sweetened even more, it's usually called demi-sec, and further, it's usually called du, with that being the sweetest. Uh, if a wine isn't sweetened at all, it's usually called brut nature. All right, so tell me what you learned. The Loire Valley is a cooler northern region of France that produces many wine styles, but those most notable are the whites made from Sauvignon Blanc and Chenin Blanc and the reds from Cabernet Franc. Now the Rhone Valley must be cleft in twain, the north and the south. The northern part specializes in reds made from Syrah and whites from Marsan, Roussan, and Viognier. Now the southern part specializes in blended reds based on the Grenache grape. Now Champagne region is beautiful and they make wonderful sparkling wines out of Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier. Now, when considering Champagne, you must not only choose the Marc wines, but those are the more particular grower Champagnes as well. If you don't, you're a bloody fool. And I'll tell you what's what.